What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive VGC double battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing my favorite ice type from Generation 4, Frostlass. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, take two seconds out of your day to scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button. While you're down there, ring those notification bells so you know when my videos go live. But like I said, we are using Frost last day, and I don't think I showcased this Pokemon in BDSP yet. I do not know why I feel this way, but I feel like there is a slight chance that we might have showcased this Pokemon already. But I'm almost I'm like 99% sure we haven't. So if I already did uh, showcase Frost Slash, looks like you guys are getting a double feature of this Pokemon. But this Pokemon is absolutely amazing. It is a Ghost and Ice type, and this design is just absolutely amazing. But with that out the way, let's get started here with the team preview. Starting off with the one and only Frost Slash. Like I already mentioned, it is an Ice and Ghost type, and it is rocking the Life Orb as its item. Its ability is going to be Snow Cloak, and then the EVs I gave it is fully invested into Special Attack and Speed. So this thing is as fast as it can possibly be, and it can hit as hard as it possibly can. Move set first, guys, is going to be Ice Beam, Shadow Ball, two stab moves, and then we got Will O' Wisp for burns on physical attackers, and Protect, just to protect our little lovely Frost Slash. Second Pokemon is going to be Frostlass's best friend. It is going to be Abomina Snow over here. Abomina Snow obviously has the, uh, what is it? What's that ability called? Hold up. Snow Warning. That's what it's called. It has the Snow Warning as an ability. So every time it hops into battle, it is going to set the hail that is going to benefit the Abomina Snow and the Frostlass. This thing has Blizzard, Energy Ball, Icy Wind for Speed Control, and Protect for its fourth and final move. Snow Warning as an ability, like I already mentioned, and then item for this Pokemon is going to be that Focus Dash so it doesn't die in one hit. Third Pokemon is going to be Infernape. We're going to need a Pokemon to kind, of, to kind of protect our Ice Pokemon from Scissor, so I felt like Infernape was just a great choice. We gave the Expert Belt out as item, so super effective moves do more damage. It's got the Blaze ability, and the moveset is going to be pretty powerful with Fake Out for Flinches, Close Combat for Stab, Flare Blitz for Stab, and you turn just to pivot out and kind of get out different Pokemon. Fourth Pokemon on today's team is going to be our support slash good special attacker. It is going to be Togekiss over here. It has Air Slash, Dazzling Green, Protect and Follow Me. Super Luck as its ability. And then it is Rocking the Scope Buttons as item to give it an even more boost in that critical hit field. Fifth Pokemon on today's team is going to be Garchomp. Cannot go wrong with Garchomp. Just such a good physical attacker and great on any single team. We gave it the Yachi Berry so it could soak up an ice move. It is rocking Rough Skin as its ability. And then his moveset is fairly normal with EQ, Dragon Call, Protect, and Sword Stance to set up. Final Pokemon on today's team is a water Pokemon other than Gyarados. I know I've been using Gyarados a lot, but I threw in my boy Rotom Wash here, who is just as strong on the special attacking side. We got Thunderbolt, we got Hydro Pump, we got Nasty Pot and Protect. And then we got Levitate as its ability, and then the item it is going to be holding is going to be that Citrus Berry to give it a bit more HP when it falls below half. But guys, there's a team. Let's hop into that Coliseum. Look to get some wins with this Frost Slash Snow Squad. First battle coming at you guys. And we're going up against a really cool team. Is this a mono normal team? He's got Porygon Z. He's got Ditto, Ambipom, x Filed, Milk Tank, and Smeargle. Smeargle and Milk Tank kind of annoy me, but I definitely have to bring in my boy Infernape. Infernape over here can outspeed most, and it has close combat and can hit like a truck. So I'm really kind of digging that. So do I actually lead Infernape, or do I kind of just hang him for the back end? I'm kind of just want to have him for the back end. I feel like that could be really good for us. But I could lead Frostlass and Obama Snow. So I'm taking a bit of speed control if I wanted to. That wouldn't be too bad. So you know what? I am going to end up doing that. Go them too. Bring Infernape in the back end. And then last but not least, do I bring Togekiss? I kind of like Togekiss here. Togekiss is not too bad. Or I could go Garchomp. Who does Jeans want here? I feel like Togekiss is going to be type nice. It's just fast, it's just good all around. I really do like Tokus. Or I can go in with, with a big physical attacker with Garchomp, or even a big special attacker with Proton. Options, options, options. Hmm. I'm trying to think what I want to do here. What does Jeans want to do here? I kind of like Tokus. Tokus is just nice all around. It can out bulk, it can follow me. We just have a lot of different options with it. So I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to lock it down. We're going to look for our first win here with this Frost Last team. We're going to get rocking out with him. Get the little lead going. He's going to go in with Ambipom and Milk Tank. So he can fake me out if he wants to. Um, I could protect the Bomb of Snow. He can't uh, fake out my Frost Slice. I could actually put some burns on these guys. Or I can go straight for an attack. And it's up to me. I kind of want to throw some attack or some burns out here. I don't want to throw some burns. So you know what? I'm just going to protect you. Or do I go for an Icy Wind? Just in case. I kind of just want to go for an Icy Wind. Just in case he doesn't uh, fake me out. But I feel like he has to go for the fake out. So I'm just going to protect here. I'm just going to go for a burn over on the milk tank slot. 
that is going to be my play. Hopefully he goes for that fake out. I was going to read that he wasn't going to go for the fake out because it's kind of obvious that he's going into the Obama Snow slot, considering I have a ghost type Pokemon. But we're going to hope. We are going to hope. Let's see what he does here. Let's see what he does. But that's what's good about Frost Lance here is it's ghost type. And these normal Pokemon cannot hit him. So Protect is going to come out here. And she's going to go for the fake out here. He does go for the fake out. So I do protect at the right time. Frostless, can you outspeed, please? I think you can outspeed that milk tank. You do. We throw a nice little burn onto it. So we're throwing burns all around. I wonder what milk tank's doing because milk tank can be rather annoying. It really can be. What is he going to go for? He's going to go for a bulldozer. He's going to bulldoze. Oh, I guess that's fine. Frostless dodged it. Thank you, Snowcloak. And he's just going to slow down his ambi bomb. I'm all about it. I'm all about that. I'm all about that. So I could burn the ambi bomb. I could double down into it. Um, Buffett's a hail is gonna fly out here. That's a solid turn from us. I'll take that turn all day, but yo, snow cloak coming out in clutch there. Good old snow cloak. Good old snow cloak. So from here, uh, I could drop a blizzard. I could drop an icy wind just to slow down these Pokemon. But I feel like blizzard's gonna be my play. I feel like I'm just gonna blizzard and then on top of that, I could throw a burn, but I feel like we just get rid of the Ambi Palm, right? Ambi Palm could be annoying. So I'm just gonna double down to the slot. Let's see what he does. Ice Beam's gonna fire. Can Ice Beam just KO straight up? Get a Frost Lass. Big time damage, baby. Big time damage from Frost Lass coming out here. And Ambi Palm's going to, or no, this thing's gonna set up a Self Rocks. Okay, we have Tokus in the back end and Infernape, which I do not like. Bombastone shows that's out speed, so that's pretty big. And hopefully these guys can kind of just chill on the field for a little bit. I'm kind of cool with this. It's good to know that a Bombastone outspeeds that Milk Tank. It's really good to know. The Bombastone still has his Focus Ash. But I love how the burns and the uh, and the buffets are just teeing off onto this milk tank. But I might want to go for another blizzard, knowing that we outspeed him. And I can just finish off the milk tank here, instead of an icy one. Really depends who he throws out here. So he's going to show his next Pokemon. It's going to be x -Bot. And this Pokemon just screams out Gen 3. I don't know why, I just feel like every time I went up against like a versus battle in Gen 3, people had this Pokemon, or the NPCs had this Pokemon. But yeah, I feel safe going into a blizzard here, and I kind of just want to go straight into a Will-O-Wisp onto the x -Wild. Again, these are all physical attackers. All these guys are physical attackers, so if I could just throw burns on this, I feel like my back-end Pokemon can pretty much win this battle. But I feel like this is just solid from Frostlass, right? Yep, will o -Wisp connects, and we're just throwing burns, yo. Frostlass getting after it about him, Lord. We love it. We love it. Good old Frostlass. He's going to go for a Bulldoze. Frostlass with the Snow Cloak again, yo. We love it. We love it. So he takes off Focus Ash on Obama Snow. That's totally fine. But yo, Snow Cloak coming in clutch. You guys do not know, Frost Lance ability is Snow Cloak. So once in the hail, it's get, it gets a 30% evasiveness boost. That's why it is dodging moves right now pretty well. Blizzard comes out here, takes out the milk tank, chips off the, some damage on X Cloud. And I think this game's like GG's, right? He's going to go for Flamethrower. That is special attack, and that is going to take out my Obama Snow all day. So I did not know this thing would be rocking special attack moves, but you guys know the deal here. We bring out Infernape and we solidify this battle, right? Right, all day. Get them on out here. Burns and Buffets does a significant amount of damage. Just two chip damage. And then I can bring out Infernape here. I don't even have to go for a fake out. I feel like we outspeed, right? I feel like we outspeed. Unless he has PZ. Do we outspeed a PZ? I feel like we do. I feel like we do. So in this case, I'm just going to drop a close combat into that slot. And then I'm just going to Blizzard straight into the... Uh, or not Blizzard, Ice Beam right into the x block Because Close Combat can hand sound just absolutely ripping that Pokemon. So I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to drop an Ice Beam. And Frost Lance gets showcased really, really well in battle number one. You can go for a Thunderbolt and Frost Lance with the dodge, dude. Frost Lance is playing no games, yo. Snow Cloak OP. Snow Cloak is OP. I'm loving it right now. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. We take some Life Orb damage. And Frame is going to give him the punchy punchies here and say night night. See you later. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Battle number one, we completely dominate. Frost Lance, legit, was overpowered. Dodged every single move that tried to come after him and did some crazy damage. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is a real test right here. Look at the team we are going up against. Shaman, Mewtwo, Ho-Oh, Raikou, Suicune, and Groudon. You guys know when I play BDSP, I absolutely love beating people who are using Legendary. So if we could beat this full team of Legendaries, that would be absolutely amazing. How should I go into this one? How should I play? I could lead a Bomb of Snow and Frost Last. That is not too bad. But I could just go Infernape and maybe... Oh, I could go a Bomb of Snow and Frost Last. Protect Frost Last maybe turn one. 
get some speed control but my problem would be if he leads like the ho oh or the uh the groudon could definitely do me dirty but i'm gonna go infernape here i do like infernape kind of has a nice little lead get some work done i could go garchomp i wish i had rock slide on my garchomp the fool. but i do not i could go rotom as a lead rotom's actually not too shabby here super effective against a lot I could go rotom and infernape try to maybe set up a nasty pot kind of go from there I mean, the Pokemon that's kind of annoying me the most is going to be Raikou. So I do got to bring Garchomp in there just for that instance. And then last but not least, I think Togas. I feel like we got to bring in everybody but the Ice Pokemon here, right? I think that's our best bet of beating Legendaries. This one's going to be tough, but hopefully your boy can pull it off. That would be absolutely amazing. That would be amazing. So let's see. He goes Ho-Oh and Groudon. These were the two I was most worried about right here. But I do have my lovely Rotom on the field. I could hard swap into... Uh, I could fake out the ground on turn one, which I think I'm gonna do. I think I'm just gonna fake out the ground on turn one and kind of just uh thunderbolt the ho ho. Would be my best bet, right? And then maybe next turn hard swap or you turn out into Tokus, just so we can dodge any ground move that he has to offer, right? This is this is ugly. I could have set up an A spot. A spot could have been a nice little setup here, but I, I just feel like we have to just start throwing out some damage here up against these legendaries. So I'm gonna fake him out, give him the Bobskis. Nice little damage. Oh, he's gonna drop a Sacred Fire into Rotom, and oh my god, so much damage. Do not burn me. Please don't burn me. I do have a Citrus Berry, which is nice. A Citrus Berry gonna poke out here, and we're gonna see how this one kind of plays out here. Can we get like a crit? Can you help me out here? A little bit of crit action. Beautiful damage. Beautiful damage. Give me the power. Give me the power. No power. Groudon flinches that turn, and I don't think Infernape's gonna be able to outspeed. I don't think Infernape's gonna be able to outspeed, even though you are boosted. Actually, can you outspeed? That'd be a beautiful outspeed. So I would love to just U-turn out here up against that Groudon. Do I trust that my Fire Monkey's faster so I can get off some damage? I'm going to trust the Fire Monkey. I am going to trust the Fire Monkey. Go ahead, Fire Monkey. Just outspeed this Groudon. Thank you, Fire Monkey. Cool. So I'm going to U-turn out here. I'm going to chip up some damage before I go. And I'm going to swap it to Tokus just in case he wants to go for a ground move. Because I feel like he could definitely go for a ground move here, right? He could definitely go for a ground move. And a ground move would be scary. A ground move would take me out. So I'm just going to swap to Togi Wogi here. So Togi's going to come out here. Hell, he's going to use Sacred Fire. Probably in the Rotom again, right? Rotom eats. So please go for a ground move so we can dodge it. And then I can get rid of the Hell oh And of course he gets to burn, which I do not like. Rotom outspeeds, which is beautiful. And we get off another shot. We take out ho oh Huge turn. Huge turn for us. So it is good to know that our Rotom outspeeds at Groudon as well. Go for a ground move, please. Go for an Earthquake. We love it. It's a great hard swap from us. Levitate comes out from the Rotom. And on top of that, uh, Tokus can dodge it because it's flying type. We are burned. We are getting chipped up here. So we got like one more turn left in the Rotom. Unless they don't touch us. Unless they do not touch us. So Citrus Berry definitely came in clutch for us there. I could follow me the shot. Um, he's not going to go for any ground move. I could hard swap into maybe like Infernape again. But again, it really depends who he goes into. Hopefully, a shaman in back end. He's gonna go into Mewtwo here. And Mewtwo is definitely scary. Mewtwo is definitely scary. And I feel like I kinda. Do I wanna double down into him? I could Gleam, I could Air Slash. I just wanna get rid of you. I'm gonna Air Slash into that because I feel like Tokus should be faster. And I feel like I just Thunderbolt. Try to drop some damage because I really don't wanna Hydro Pump into the Drought right now. Mewtwo's gonna drop an Ice Beam. That is kinda scary. And we do eat, which is good. Can we flinch this? Uh, can we get a Power here or flinch this Groudon? That could be nice. That'd be real good. No para. Can we get the flinch here? The flinch would be gorgeous. I'm gonna flinch. I'm gonna flinch. He goes for a thunderbolt, and that's going to take out my Tokus. Oh no way! Togi eats. Togi eats. So we're sitting in a position where we get off an extra shot here. We are sitting in a position where we get off an extra shot. I mean, I could survive another burn turn. Um, what do I want to do? What does Jeans want to do here? Hmm. I could Gleam. I feel like Gleam's going to be our play. I feel like I have to get off as much damage as I possibly can, right? Hmm. Do I Gleam? Um, I wonder who Mewtwo's going to go after. That's, my, that's the real question. I think I am going to Gleam and just drop another Thunderbolt. Again, I just got to keep the pressure up and keep pushing damage onto these guys. So he's going to go for a side strike. He's going to take out... Who are you taking out here? i take out my Tokus. So Tokus drops out. That's totally fine. Rotom's going to get off one more turn before it dies out here. And then we're just going to go from there. So Thunderbolt coming out here. Can I get a para? A 
para would be big news from us. Give me a para. No para, dude. Thunderbolt is just not rocking with the para today. We're just not ripping with it. Okay, so Rotom drops out. Mm, it's a bad right now. I don't think we're sitting in a bad spot. And I go Infernape and Guard. And I think I might be able to take out the, uh, the Mewtwo. The fake out just might be able to take out the Mewtwo. And I know Garchomp outspeeds. Can fake out take out the Mewtwo? That'd be huge. I am going to fake out the Mewtwo regardless. And just go into a Dragon Claw. Because I feel like... feel like Dragon Claw can take out. Or... Mm. I could D-Dance here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to Dragon Claw into the Groudon. I need to get rid of the Groudon. I cannot allow Groudon to get off some turns here. So the fake out can come out here. Let's pick up the KO. It's not. Sad news. Dragon Claw is going to fly. Pick up the KO here. I need this. I need you going. Oh, dude, that's bad news. Mewtwo flinches. He drops a Dragon Claw, and my gosh, I'm sad. No, he soaks. Lovely. Lovely. Rough Skin's going to oh, finish that off. That's a big Rough Skin turn. That's a big Rough Skin turn. Now, my problem here is Mewtwo can really get some work done on me, especially because I think it is going to be faster than everybody on the field. Because if he, he, yeah, he's gonna bring out Suicune. Suicune's a tough customer for both of us here. Suicune's tough for both of us. Um. Hmm. What do I do here? I guess I'll Fire Blitz just to finish off the Mewtwo. And I kind of just want to set up. Who is faster? Is it Bernie faster? Infernape's probably faster with Jolly, right? Yeah. So Infernape is going to be a bit faster. Uh. Did I protect? I feel like I have to protect here. This is tough news. But I feel like I, I can swords. I can go for a Swords Dance. I feel like I have to go for a Swords Dance. I don't like team one bit. Infernape does outspeed, so the Swords Dance is a great play from us. The Swords Dance is a great play because I feel like the Suicune goes after the Infernape. I'm down to the wire here. I'm down to the wire. What are you going for? Our time outspeed. So we both outspeed the Suicune, which is it's huge news. It's huge news, but we need my Garchomp to eat up shots. So we can just gonna go for an ice beam. Can we eat this up? It is coverage. Can Yachi Berry help us out here? I don't think I think we die to this. It's bad news. That's rough news. We should have dropped the dragon call. We should have got off damage while we can. Oh no. I don't like this game. <laughs> 1v1. Sitting in such a rough spot. I don't even think we can eat up. I don't think we can eat up a what's it called? A water move after this defense drop. Or maybe we get a crit with close combat. Maybe we don't need, we, we do no damage to that thing. We just out bulk it. We need a crit next shot. <laughs> we need a crit next shot to win it. But I feel like he just KOs us with Scald or something. Yep, here comes Scald. And that's going to take us out. But yo, this close, guys. This close to winning that match. So close. So close. I wish we would have beat those legendaries, but not bad overall from us. So guys, I'm versing the same exact opponent. And I got a hold of the rules and I turned off special Pokemon. And then this is what I'm left with. I turned off special Pokemon. And this guy still is able to use Moltres, Articuno, Raikou, Suicune, and Latias. Or Latios. Not too bad. And he has Gyarados on his team. Definitely got to bring in Rotom because Rotom is just the man in this situation. So, Rotom, I am going to lead you. And I might end up leading Frostlass alongside with it. Do I lead Frostlass here? Frostlass is not too shabby. I'm going to lead Frostlass. I'm going to bring Garchomp in the back end. And then last but not least, I could bring Infernape. But I feel like Togekiss just gets a lot more value out of it, right? Togewogee. Let's lock it in. Let's let, lock it down. Let's look at grab ourselves a win here in the final battle. But yeah, I turn off special Pokemon, and then I just get legendary birds. Like, come on now. So we can Gyarados are going to fly out here. Cool, I got Rotom ready to rock. I'm going to go for that burn onto the Gyarados, and I think I'm just going to drop a Thunderbolt straight into the, uh, straight into the Suicune slot, right? Tim Nate's going to come out here. We're special attacking. I dig it. I think we're fine here. And we'll see how this one plays out here. We shall see. He might even swap the Gyarados. I definitely see it happening. So I'm just going to Thunderbolt this slot. And I'm just going to go for the will o -Wisp, Just in case he wants to stay in here with the Gyarados. We shall see what he wants to do. Hopefully he's not Lumberried if we do land this will o -Wisp. We'll see. We shall see. I'd be surprised if he kind of stays in here with Gyarados or doesn't protect it. Every time just rips into it. I'm hoping Frostlight might be able to outspeed this withdrawal. Go into a physical attacker, please. Please! Physical. I think he has a lot of special attackers. Gonna go into a special attack on Raikou. I'm fine with that. will o -Wisp is still gonna land. Still gonna do some nice little chip damage. And then we should get after the battle. So Rotom should be able to outspeed Suicune. 
which it does. And can we get off some big old damage on that thing? I'm going to parry it as well. I got the parry finally, dude. I've been trying to get parries with Rotom all day. So he goes straight for a Scald into Rotom. Wow. Surprising. That is surprising. So that is going to pop out from him. We know he has Gyarados. I could hard swap out just to keep my Rotom alive. Because I feel like if we keep Rotom, we can win this game. But I think I just keep the pressure with the thing. Right? Right? I mean, I mean, the only Pokemon that can really soak up on his team a Thunderbolt would have been this Raikou. So I'm just going to drop another Thunderbolt here. And I think I'm just going to Ice Beam Cross here. Or I can go into a Shadow Ball. What does more damage? Just, mm, Ice Beam's going to do a bit more damage. So I'm just going to go for an Ice Beam. But Shadow Ball looks cooler, and it has a chance to drop a special defense. So that's the only, that's the only difference with it. But Ice Moon's going to come out here, chip up some nice solid damage. We're going to take some Life Orb on top of that. And can Rotom outspeed? It's not. Thunder's going to fly. Thunder's going to connect. 70% accuracy, it connects. My boy eats. Give me that nice, lovely Citrus Berry. And do not paralyze me. That's all I'm asking for. Just let me get off this Thunderbolt. Beautiful. No paralyze. We get rid of the Suicune. I dig that turn. I dig it. I dig it. So what I can do here is I could end up protecting my, uh, I could end up protecting my Rotom. I don't think he brings out Gyarados. I don't think he brings out Gyarados. I could hard swap into my, uh, my Garchomp here if I want to. But that, it really depends if he's bringing out Gyarados or not. That is the only question. That's my only problem. He's going to bring out Gyarados. Uh, Gyarados might protect you. Uh, do I just get rid of the Raikou? What would my play be? I could try to land Hydro Pump into the Raikou. Which I think I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do. Actually, he outspeeds me. So I'll just protect this turn. I go for this will o -Wiz. I think he might just protect the Gar or the Gyarados. He might just protect the Gyarados. We protect the Rotom. He does not. And we drop a will o -Wiz on this thing. Hopefully, it's not Lumberry. I think it's worse than dropping a will o -Wiz on a Pokemon and it being Lumberry. So we get off a big time burn on the Gyarados. I love it. And it's not Lumberry. Thunderbolt's going to get blocked. I feel like I just have to hard swap in the Garchomp next turn, right? It's going to double down into my Rotom. <laughs> That's a beautiful turn from us. A beautiful turn from us. Cool. So I'm going to target down that Raikou. I'm not too worried about the Gyarados anymore now that it's burned. I feel like we're thriving here. Let's hard swap into the Garchomp. Predicting that, that Thunder move coming in hot. And actually, you outspeed. You outspeed everybody. I'm just going to drop a Shadow Ball into the Gyarados. If we're going to dodge moves, we should be fine. We're going to withdraw this lovely little Rotom. We're going to get after it. We are going to get after it. Shadow Ball coming in hot. I just love that animation. One of the coolest animations of Pokemon. Shadow Ball. It just looks amazing. He's going to go for Thunderbolt. We dodge it. That's amazing. And he goes to a crunch into who? Can you eat that up, Frosty? You do. Good old Frost Eyes. Doing awesome in today's battles. Doing great. So we know Frost Eyes is fastest on the field. It's really good for us. And is Garchomp faster than Frost Eyes? I'm really curious about that. So 169 and 170. Oh, uh, okay. Hmm. Real time down speed. I don't know if Garchomp can. I'm going to say he can. I'm going to say Garchomp's got the speed. I think he can do the work here. And I'm just going to go into another... It's nice another uh, Shadow Ball here. I'm going to say Garchomp can outspeed here. The Shadow Ball is going to come out here. Can we get a high roll? We got a decent roll there. That, was, that did more damage than the last one, which I like. But well, my Frost Last is going to go down here to Crunch. Can Garchomp outspeed? It does. Beautiful. So we make the right call. Dragon Call comes out here. Raikou, get on out of here. Get on out of here. Hopefully he doesn't KO my Frost Last. I really want him. Goes for an Ice Beam. And that's what I was kind of hoping. He had an Ice Move up his sleeve. Which he does. I have the Yachi Berry. We soak that up all day. And we're thriving here. We are thriving. We're looking for the sweep. We are looking for the sweep. There's a slight chance we get here. It really depends who he brings out as his final Pokemon. Because I should be able to outspeed whatever Pokemon he brings out. Maybe not Articuno. I do not know. We're not going to one-tap, which is a problem. I mean, I could do this. Protect this shot. Finish off... Actually... Mm, yeah, finish off Gyarados. Hopefully protect the Articuno shot. Swap the Frost last. Get after the battle that way. That's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping the Articuno is going after my Garchomp. Just so I can get after it. Just so I can try to get a sweep here. I'm looking for the sweep, so we're trying to play very defensively. Articuno, please go after Garchomp here. Make it happen. Do not take out my Frost Lance. He goes for an Ice Beam, and we make the right call. The question is, 
Do we out? Do both my Pokemon outspeed this this little booger right here? Because we die to any ice move, Togekiss might be able to soak up an ice shot. Which you know what? We're gonna go for that. We're gonna we're gonna try to get Togekiss to soak up an ice shot. Togekiss, we're trying it for you guys. We're trying we're trying for you guys. Togekiss might be able to soak up an ice shot. I just don't think two two shots can take out an Articuno. It is decently bulked. It just has nice stats all around. But Shadow Ball's gonna fly here. It's gonna give me the special defense drop. Give me the special defense drop. I don't think we got it. What's he going for? He's going for the Ice Beam. I think Togekiss can soak up the shot. It can. It could soak up another one, too. It could soak up another one. So with that happening, I am going to go for a follow me. And I am going to look to drop this Articuno special defense here. So I'm going to follow me. We're looking for the sweet. We're going for it. Follow me the shots all day. Shadow Ball coming in hot. Give me the special defense drop. I need it. I need it. Oh, we actually might be able to take out. But then my Frost Ice dies. No bueno. No bueno. No! Did you get a crit? You got a high roll. He just high rolled me, man. He just high rolled me. I followed me because we could eat up another shot. But that is going to be the game. That is going to be GG's. We tried to get the sweep, but we're just going to finish off our opponent and go 2 1 for today's video. So close to 3 0. So close to 3 0 for today's video. I just went for the Ice Beam. Ice Beam would do more damage. But yeah, Shadow Ball's going to fly. Send it. Bop. See you later. Cool. We take out Articuno. Frost Ice is going to die to that Life Orb. Unless they don't show it in this game. Yeah, he does go down the Life Orb. Rest easy, Frost Ice. Love you. Frost Ice did amazing in today's video. But like I said, 2-1, almost a perfect record. What an awesome set of battles for today's video. We went 2-1, and, and we only lost to a Legendary team, and we only lost by about that much. So it's a little upsetting that we lost a Legendary team, but it's all good. We got to showcase Frost last and use them to its fullest potential. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.